I get a call very often from people that are on the eve of a sheriff's sale. The next day the property is going to be sold and they're wondering, can bankruptcy stop that? Well, yes, it can. What happens as soon as we file with any creditor, they're notified automatically. In the case of a sheriff's sale, we're going to go the extra step and we're going to call the sheriff and we're going to fax the sheriff. Notification of the bankruptcy has gone into effect. There's an automatic stay, and it's just that. It goes into effect automatically. As soon as we file that bankruptcy petition, and we file it here electronically, you can do it any time or night, on any day, it goes, the bankruptcy stay goes into effect. That stay keeps any creditor from being able to continue their action, including foreclosure action. Once we file, the foreclosure has stopped, and it gives us that period of time where we, have, we can step back and take a breath and figure out how we're going to move forward. If your goal is to keep this house, there's a number of options available to us. Generally, in that case, we're filing a Chapter 13 bankruptcy. Chapter 13 will give us time to get caught up on past due payments or work on a loan modification or sometimes a short sale or just a sale of the property. But it's a sale on our own time frame. If there's equity in this property, the last thing you want it to do is go to a sheriff's sale. We are, you lost that equity in, all, in most cases. In a bankruptcy context, we stop. We take a breather, we have time to figure out what we're doing going forward, and then we have a plan about how we move forward. But rest assured, we as long as that gavel hasn't hit and that property hasn't been sold, we can file bankruptcy and stop it. Oftentimes we file minutes before the sale. I'd rather not, please call me before that, but we can do it. We do it electronically and it's instantly. Let me know, we can help you.